it's a great loss uh, to the scientific community. At UC Davis, they are mourning the loss of a researcher. Sharon Gray was killed earlier this week in Ethiopia. She had been with the school for three years and was studying how plants reacted to different conditions. New tonight, CBS 13's Drew Balea spoke to people close to Gray. On the UC Davis campus, inside the Life Sciences building, the halls are a little less bright. She's always smiling. That's because plant biology researcher Sharon Gray will no longer be walking through them. She was a bright young uh, scientist, and it's a great loss uh, to the scientific community. Dinesh Kumar is the interim department head. He was shocked when he heard the news of Gray's death. I, I couldn't speak for a couple of minutes before even I said anything. The 30 year old was killed in Ethiopia earlier this week when protesters threw rocks at a vehicle she was riding in. It's really a tragedy that this young woman who's at the start of her career, very promising young scientist, uh, to be lost like this. The unrest in Ethiopia is over land and political rights. Days earlier, a stampede of protesters killed dozens. Gray was in the country with a fellow researcher for a conference on how plants respond to stress, drought, and climate change. It's going to help farmers around the world and help people improve their crops. Siobhan Brady was with Gray. She wrote a message calling the 30-year-old a valuable team member, mentor, and friend. And on the personal side, calm and patient nature. Someone truly committed to helping people through her studies. The whole department uh, is still in shock. Now, Gray's husband also works in the plant biology department, and people close to him say he's holding up better than expected.